In this video, I'm going to show you what's the easiest way of how you can install Zabbix Agent or Zabbix Agent 2 on your Windows host. And at the end of the video, we will add my Windows host to the Zabbix frontend and start collecting some data. And if that's the content that you like, you can find all of the links of how you can support this channel in the description of this video. But before we start, it's important to mention that I am using Zabbix 7.0 Beta 1 on my Docker containers and 7.0 is still in development development, but that's okay for, for the sake of this video. So I also have a Windows 10, but uh, the same instructions will apply to like Windows 11, Windows Server, Windows 7, or whatever else uh, you might have. The first thing that we need to do is uh, go to the Zabbix.com page and uh, click on a download button. Then on a top view, we need to click on the Zabbix agent. So that is the place where you should go if you're looking only to download a Zabbix agent. Uh, you will not find the Zabbix server or the front end there. So what kind of operating system? And we're talking about a Windows, right? So we have a Windows operating system version any because uh, this uh, these steps and this MSI will work for, as I said, Windows 7, 10, 11, uh, probably also previous Windows XP and, and all server additions. Uh, hardware type, is it AMD 64 or Intel? In my case, it's AMD and the Zabbix version that you want to install. As I mentioned, like I have a Zabbix 7.0 beta version and there's no agent for 7.0 yet. It's not a problem because agents are backwards compatible. So no matter the fact that I have a 7.0 server, I can still have 6.4 or 6.2 or 6.0 or even 4. something Zabbix agent functioning properly connecting all the data and communicating with my Zabbix server. Then encryption, depending if you're planning to set up encryption between your Zabbix agent and a server or the proxy uh, to secure communication and exchange of the data and all the authentication parameters if there will, there will be any in the configuration. Uh, in uh, case of this video, we will not do the encryption, we'll go at maximum simple, so no encryption. And the packaging, you have two options, either MSI or the archive. And the archive is basically old uh, way of installing the Zabbix agent, which involves uh, the CMD commands, which is not too complicated, but it's definitely not the easiest way. And the easiest way is MSI. And that one we will be doing today. Important to take a look like in the bottom, we see that Zabbix release that we will be installing is 646. And for 646, we have only Agent 2 plugins, but we are looking either for Agent 2 or for Agent 1. So if let's say we change uh, Zabbix version 2, 6.2, there we go, we have Zabbix Agent and Zabbix Agent 2 versions. So these will work perfectly fine for our tutorial video. Just uh, make sure that you pick the correct MSI package for your installation. Click the download button, then choose where you want to save it and uh, then just run the installation. I will open this, uh, double click on the installation file and there you go, the welcome to the Zabbix agent 64-bit setup wizard. We basically just have to click next uh, as usually it is with all the Windows installation, you must read all the end user license agreement and accept it. Uh, then you can proceed with the next and uh, you can choose the way where uh, it's going to be installed. And by default, it's going to be C program file Zabbix agent, which is again, perfectly fine for us. So we will have a Zabbix agent. We will also get a Zabbix sender that is just the utility that allows you to send uh, data to the Zabbix Zabbix Trapper items um, on a Zabbix server, but it has nothing to do with the Zabbix agent itself. And we also have a Zabbix get that can be used as a testing utilities to retrieve a data from the agent. But again, it has nothing to do with the Zabbix agent itself. After that, we can click next and uh, we need to write a host name. Host name is basically it's going to replace the hostname parameter in the agent config file and it is used in case of the active checks and it's ignored in the case of the passive checks so let's, let's keep it simple so i will type in uh youtube but uh, i will explain it in a little bit later zabbix server ip or dns name so that is the one ip or dns name of the zabbix server to which we want our agent to communicate and uh, in 
in my case, I can open uh, SSH and I can check that IP address of my uh, virtual machine is 2268561011. Like this. Uh, agent listen port default is 10050 and there's no need to change it. Uh, and server or proxy for active checks is usually the same as. Uh, as it is uh, for, for the passive checks. So 192.168.56.101 in my case. In your case, make sure that you that you provide the IP address of your Zabbix server, of course. And uh, we probably also wanna make sure that we add agent location to the path. Uh, it, it might be necessary in some cases. Uh, PS key uh, for the uh, encryption. Again, we're not doing the setup with encryption, so I will ignore it uh, here. Then we click next and install we wait for the status which uh, probably gonna take like second or, or five or ten since the installation is also making some changes to our windows host then of course we need to allow it uh, unless if we run it uh, as admin under the admin privilege it's gonna ask for it and after that we can click uh, finish so now we can check in the services msc uh, right in the bottom because it starts with the letter Z we have Zabbix agent and it is running right so now we can try to add this host in my front end right here I have a Zabbix front end hosts I will create a new host call it Windows YouTube any host must have a host group that's a mandatory thing and I will add uh, it to the Windows servers host group and agent interface and i think the ip address of uh, windows host is 56.1 it's 101 for my uh, zabbix server and dot one for the windows machine but we'll test it later um click add then we can go click on the host find uh, templates there we go uh, templates and find windows by the zabbix agent passive one not the active click update and uh, then we can go to the items I will select all of them and click execute now just to save us some time and then going back to my view of the host we can see that Windows YouTube has 34 items 13 triggers 5 graphs for low level discovery rules and availability is green which basically means that communication uh, between the Zabbix server and agent is successful we can uh, refresh one more time and you see right now we have 108 items and those are coming from the low level discovery rules because we are also discovering the mounted file systems on our Windows host I'm discovering network interfaces physical disks and Windows services and all of these low level discovery rules generated quite a lot of items like uh, this crate uh, disk utilization by idle time uh, some some network interface data and stuff like that and if we will go to the monitoring latest data and filter by our Windows YouTube host we will see all the items and most of them already have the data as example disk write requests average waiting time is 0 0.14 uh, milliseconds and the uh, services are running so basically we are already monitoring our windows host and that's about it